Hey, what's going on? Meteorologist Steve Fendera here We're holding on to a last gasp of summer for Labor Day weekend. Uh, we actually have started the meteorological um, autumn season, so to speak. We start that on September 1st. We like to look at autumn, the seasonal fall, kind of like a transition between summer being hot and winter being cold. So we get a big spread in our average high temperatures or our typical high temperatures on like a week to week basis. Early September here, our typical highs are sitting in the mid 80s or so. And as we progress to the end of the month, we're looking at highs in the upper 70s and then in the upper 60s by early November. So big spread in our temperatures this season. It's why many of us enjoy the autumn season. We get into the some of the cooler conditions, some of the drier weather as well. We get rid of some of the summertime humidity. But we're not getting rid of that summertime humidity over the next several days here. We're kind of hanging on to it. Temperatures tomorrow are going into the low 90s. And then for the rest of the week, we are sitting on either side of 90 degrees. And the humidity is going to hold as well. Each day, it's going to elevate by a couple degrees here or there. So while we've got a lot of sunshine for our Labor Day and for the next five to seven days, humidity is going to be up and it's going to feel pretty uh, uh, muggy over the next couple. So not necessarily feeling like autumn, although we did get a little taste of it over the past couple of days especially in the morning hours felt wonderful next couple days we're warming up tomorrow morning we'll start in the low 70s a sign that that humidity has returned temperatures aren't really going to drop off drop off drop off all that much and as we go into tomorrow afternoon highs are in the low 90s and it could very well feel like the upper 90s maybe even feel like 100 degrees at times tomorrow afternoon that humidity creeping back in a little bit there should be a brief little breeze here or there but by 10 a.m it's already feeling close to 9 a.m for our labor day and it's in the upper 90s the heat indices are going to be in the upper 90s by three o'clock in the afternoon so little uh little last gasp of summer, summer for sure. Dew points will be elevated all week, as I mentioned. So as our temperatures over the next five to seven days sit near 90 degrees, they'll probably feel like at least the mid 90s through the next couple of days. And fortunately, we don't have any rain to worry about. After getting soaked last Thursday as the Dahlia passed through the region, we got dry conditions. So no big time rain to worry about until maybe the end of the upcoming work week here. So lots of sunshine, just kind of going to be on the muggy side. Out there in the tropics, there are a couple systems that are at post-tropical. Dahlia is still out there, but that's staying out the scene. It's actually gobbling up Gert and Katia. So those two are staying out in the open Atlantic. There's a system I've highlighted in red that by midweek, Wednesday-ish, will likely be developing into a tr our next tropical cyclone. And then it's going to meander west on a long track across the Atlantic Ocean. And that will be one we'll look out for as we head towards the end of the week. We'll have a better handle on where it could go and what is in store for its livelihood. So check back in by Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. We'll have a better handle on what's going on uh, with that system as it develops deep in the Atlantic. In the short term, surfers have been enjoying the uptick in the waves. But if you head to the beach tomorrow for Labor Day, if you're spending any time out on the coast, we do have that rip current risk as there is still that swell in the Atlantic holding. And we'll likely see a rip current risk at least through Tuesday as some of the waves will be slowly, slowly backing off. Here's that seven day forecast I talked about temperatures holding near 90 degrees through at least the next five days or so. Some late week rain chances finally return to kind of briefly cool us off by the weekend. Temperatures will be dropping back towards seasonal levels by Saturday and Sunday in the 80s.